People who rarely get sick, what are your secrets? Write in the comments what you think about this. How do you get around all the diseases? Enjoy the show. Story one, I've fallen sick once in the last three years. A three-day stomach condition. Balanced diet. Two servings of fruit. Some form of exercise six days a week. Always wash my hands before meals and after being in public. Having outside clothes, home clothes, and bed clothes. Get up to date on COVID vaccines. Meditation to help manage intermittent insomnia. Story two. Healthcare worker here in high-stress field who is exposed to germs all day and mother of a toddler, i.e. K, and I almost never get sick. My secrets are regular hard exercise, moving my body as much as possible, a pretty good pro-microbiome diet, staying hydrated, sleeping when I can, working very hard and deliberately to avoid letting my body react to stress and being okay with germs. My kid never gets sick either despite being in daycare. And I attribute it to her spending most of her day rolling around in dirt slash being around animals and us not rushing to keep her clean, protected from germs. I'm a huge proponent of not avoiding germs for kids. Story 3. I have a compromised immune system but still seem to get sick less often than my partner. Big advocate of not confining myself to my bed if I'm starting to feel a bit rough. Get up and go for a little walk or something as soon as you start feeling a bit ill. I find it kicks your body into gear and fights off whatever is incoming. My partner decides she needs to lie down in bed and not do anything as soon as she gets a bit of a sniffle, and every single time she gets worse and is in bed for the week. Resting is one thing, but becoming completely immobile definitely doesn't help fight off infections slash viruses. Eat well and move, even if it's just an apple instead of a chocolate and a 15 minutes walk. Story 4. I smoke pack of cigars a week. I'll smoke a joint every night. Grab a beer or two every here and then. I eat like shit and still haven't been sick in like four years. Not even a sore throat, nothing. Blood work is also great. Even when I had corona, not a single symptom only took the test to get medical leave at work. Only healthy thing I do is I only drink water besides those few beers a week and I'm active all day. I make like 35-40k steps every day. Either working on doing some errands but I walk every chance I get. Also I would do light workout at home here then when I get bored. And I try to shoot some hoops every day at least for an hour. My sleep schedule is also fucked. But when I sleep, I sleep good. I never feel tired waking up. I can go 100% as soon as I wake up. I don't do have any routine. I just do whatever I feel like in the moment. Living as stress-free as possible. Story 5. I get sick maybe once a year or two years. Hopefully I can continue. I'm 31 BTW. Here's what I do. I frequently wash my hands. After touching things that is generally high traffic like doorknobs, going to grocery stores, gas pumps, etc., I try to keep touching my face to a minimum. This includes rubbing eyes with fingertips but instead use forearms. I rarely lick my fingers after eating. I keep people away from my comfort zone unless it's my GF I sleep with every night. I work out a lot and keep a fairly healthy diet also. When I'm at the gym, I constantly wipe machines, get enough sunlight, Try to have perfect hygiene, shower at least five times a week and brush teeth twice a day, wash face every morning and before bed. These are my tips. Story 6. I'm a PA who works in an urgent care. I can't tell you the number of times a person with obvious cold symptoms comes in thinking that it's just allergies or just the weather causing their symptoms. What I'm getting at is that there is a shocking number of people who think that if they don't have a fever, fatigue, and body aches, then they are not sick. They think if they have a cough, congestion, and sore throat, it's more of an environmental thing, and oftentimes it's not. And yes, these people are out there talking to you at restaurants and shaking your hand at meetings. Story 7. When COVID restrictions started to be relaxed, I went to the pub and people were all over each other. Acquaintances giving a big hug like you were their grandma or long-lost love. Just stop. Trying to get through to them that I would be continuing the no-hug, etc. policy was ridiculously tough. They took offense. FFS, I hardly know you. Anyway, I haven't been sick for a few years, and previous to that I wasn't sick often. Not a particularly huggy person. But I did go out and mingle more often before COVID. Story 8. I got my underactive thyroid properly diagnosed and am on lifelong medication. Instantly took out the four or so severe viral infections flu I was getting a year. I used to have bleeding from my throat from coughing so much and was constantly suffering through things. I actually can't remember the last time I had one, which is insane to me now, as they were such a regular and expected part of my life and were like milestones. I could reference moments of my life by, we went on that trip before I got that flu. Now I only seem to get the one-day colds that take me out for a day and I sniffle, cough, and sneeze for a week, but I'm not laid up. Story 9. 
I used to get sick all the time, like every single cold or flu that passed me I'd catch. That all stopped when I started doing the following. I wash my hands every single time I enter a new space. Whether I enter five new spaces or 20 new spaces in a day, I wash each time. I learned to stop touching my face so much with my hands. Wearing a mask during peak COVID era is the only thing that helped break this habit. And ever since then, I've been very conscious about trying my best not to touch my mouth, my nose, or my eyes if my hands aren't washed. Addressed insomnia issues by taking magnesium. If anything starts to come on, my body literally repairs itself overnight if I can get enough sleep. I pop zinc and vitamin D tablets the minute I start to feel that familiar tingle in the back of my throat or flu-like symptoms. Sometimes I'll do a neat eye pot rinse as well. These practical things have drastically reduced how often I get sick. However, I have a sibling who was breastfed for nine months while I was only breastfed for two, three months max. They also ate a much more balanced diet than me throughout our lives. Guess who only catches a cold slash flu every nine, ten years? and doesn't do any of the above. And guess who has to do all the above to stay well? I'm convinced that these things matter a lot in terms of building immunity. Story 10 Weed Ever since I started smoking weed, almost daily, at least once before bedtime, I got sick twice in four years. Maybe it's something else. I also don't take medication until I'm down bad on bed. When I don't feel like taking one step out of bed, I take medications only then. I also don't eat out a lot. I eat mostly organic things that are homegrown. I go out to eat maybe once in a week when I eat unhealthy food like pizza burger or something way too spicy. My stomach rarely acts up when I eat bad food. I like to give credit to weed as well. I don't have random fevers, headaches, or cold. When I do, it's normal and normally goes away in a day or two and doesn't bother me too much. Maybe it's bad in the long run. Let's see. Let's. Story 11. Water and sleep. I do walk a lot as well, but that is getting a little more tough moving from NYC to Milwaukee, which is heavily car dependent, but at least my job has me going between 80,000 to 100,000 steps a week that helps. I'm not the best eater, but I don't eat pork at all since my teens. I do smoke weed on a somewhat consistent basis. I also learn not to stress out so much and keep a positive mind and attitude towards life and whatever comes my way. Happiness helps. Oh, and keep your brain active, stay mentally active, and stay socially involved, whether that be through social media or in person. Story 12. I'll be honest, if you're exposed to more things, you'll build an immunity faster and stronger. I installed flooring for over 10 years, exposed every day to at least one household's old germs and dust. I very rarely got sick, maybe twice a year. If you hide from everything, it'll be more of a shock to your system than if it's same old shit you've seen before. Obviously, don't go exposing yourself to shit to build your immunity, but more can be better than less. Story 13. I get sick every time I go back home to Europe. In the U.S., I feed myself a very healthy diet. In Europe, I eat what my family eats, which is bread and cheese and butter and less balanced. I think the mix of jet lag, worse diet, and lots of emotional stress makes me sick every time. Usually, my immune system is good. I get sniffles, but then my body fights it. When I feel something, I get turmeric shots and eat raw garlic cloves. Oregano oil is also the best. Story 14. I truly think it's a mindset. When I was little, my mother was a single mom and had to work. When I'd tell her I didn't feel well and wanted to stay home from school, she'd feel my head to see if I was warm. If I wasn't, she'd ask me to go on to school, and if I still wasn't feeling well once I got there, she'd pick me up. I think the thing was that we didn't have time to get sick. The other thing could be is that I had my tonsils out when I was a baby, and I think that could have had a lot to do with it. I have a friend who, if she just hears the flu is going around, she comes down with it. Of course she got COVID, and of course it turned into long COVID. Maybe that's not mind over matter specifically, but I think in a lot of cases, she sort of attracts the flu and a cold because it's how she gives herself attention she didn't get when she was growing up. Story 15 I don't know why specifically, but one major difference between my and my friends who get sick all the time. I have an extremely varied diet. I eat lots of vegetables and not just the staples most Americans eat. I cook veggies from all kinds of places and include something green in every meal if I can. I also eat a wide variety of meats and not just beef slash chicken slash fish, no pork. And don't we're always cooking some kind of foreign dish for lack of a better way to put. Indian slash Vietnamese slash Korean slash Nigerian, etc., etc., with lots of spices. Not sure if a really varied diet with different spices helps, but my friends who only eat pizza and chicken tenders stay sick, and my family and I don't, even my wife who has an immunity disorder. Story 16, 
wash, sanitize your hands frequently. I was a nanny for three years to a set of toddler twins. When they were both in diapers, I was washing my hands after every diaper change. So a lot. They would be sick, and I'd never catch it from them. When they got out of diapers and they'd get sick, I'd get sick too. I theorized that it was because I was no longer washing my hands several times a day. I started making an effort to wash my hands frequently the next time they had the sniffles, and I didn't catch it that time. Story 17 Not sure I think I just have a strong immune system. I never went to the doctor growing up outside of regular checkups. I had the flu once when I was 12 and just laid in bed for a day or so to get through it. My household has had COVID a few times. And after nine days of exposure, I finally got it, but only had a mildly sore throat compared to their full-blown symptoms. I never get regular sicknesses or colds. I never got the flu shot until we had kids and my wife started making me get it. I'm not overweight, but I don't exercise like I used to. My sleep is pretty crappy, but I'm working on getting more. As an adult, I sometimes go a few years without going to the doctor for a checkup because I never get sick, and so it's never top of mind. Not good, though it's important to go more often. I think it's mostly genetics, but who knows. What I will say is because I have rarely gotten sick my whole life. Ever since I was a late teenager, I just adopted the mentality of, I don't get sick. It just felt like an objective statement to me. Other people talk about how often they catch this or that, and I would just say that I don't ever get sick. I almost wonder if I've just mentally willed sickness away, or at the very least, I am not a hypochondriac whatsoever, and maybe that helps in some weird way. Story 18. I have a strong immune system because it actually gets practice. I do reasonable hygiene things like washing my hands after I shit. While I eschew less than reasonable hygiene things like cooking a hamburger until it's ashes, I'm barefoot whenever I can be without risking cutting my feet up and I didn't lock myself indoors for months during COVID. You can't put SEAL Team 6 in bubble wrap and take away their guns and expect them to just up and kill bin Laden after a decade of no practice. You gotta give your immune system shit to kill. I also suspect my daily Kratom use has supercharged my immune system. Story 19. I rarely take over the counter or prescription drugs or other artificial medications ever. Once in a while, I might take an ibuprofen or acetaminophen on rare occasions when I do get a fever or really bad headache, and I use isopropyl, neosporin, cortisone, and anti-itch allergy creams on occasion for bug bites and lacerations, but that's it. I know some have to take pharmaceutical drugs for certain reasons, but thankfully, I'm not compelled to. I believe my immune system having to work mostly on its own has helped me build better resistance and immune system overall. Story 20 Good Genes? I'm 63. I've never had more than a cold in my life and can't remember when the last time that was. Blood pressure, cholesterol, etc. exactly where it should be for someone way younger than me. I'm slim and have never put weight on. I eat chocolate and cakes like my life depends on it. Vape after giving up smoking about 10 years ago and have zero idea what exercise is. The only thing I don't do is drink or eat meat. I'm a walking miracle health-wise and I intend on living forever by continuing to do absolutely nothing to achieve it. If that ain't down to genes, then it's magic. Story 21. I have no idea, honestly. I'm not very socially active now, but even when I worked as a cashier and used public transportation, I only got sick like twice a year at most. My diet isn't great. I don't get regular exercise, and my sleep patterns have been all over the place through the years. I clean up nasty messes and wash my hands before I touch food, but I'm not overly concerned with germs. My kids don't get sick much either, but there have been times when everyone in the house is sick, and I just don't catch it. One time, everyone caught norovirus but me, though there was another time I did catch it when they did. It's probably genetic or something? Story 22 last time I was actually sick and dying had to have been COVID like three years ago. Otherwise, it's usually just a sinus issue. Broke my nose eight plus times. I, 27M, honestly have no idea how I'm so healthy. I don't work out. If anything, I hike or kayak once a week. I smoke weed every day, vape, on and off quitting, drink every other day. I don't eat breakfast. Sometimes I forget to make dinner pass out in my gaming chair at 9 p.m. because all I've done is smoke and game. And I'll admit, I'm not the most sanitary guy, like food falls on the dirt. Well, never seen dirt hurt someone. Fish guts on my finger? Shake my hand around in the pond a little. Gave myself dysentery two years ago drinking a beer that fell in the pond one too many times, Ilmao. But I don't count that as sick TBH. It wasn't that bad. Just runs for a few days. I usually get an infection or two every camping trip I go on and I let my body handle it for a couple of days until I put Neosporin on it. My best guess is the idea I was insanely athletic growing up, and still am riding on that. 
Figure the 10 plus years of stacking wood and playing every single sport I could, even going as far as doing X country, soccer, and hockey at the same time, have set my body's health up pretty well. My second best guess is the idea that I never really tried to keep my body pristine, in a germ, dirty sense, either. Letting it take on the littler things like infections or pond beer, Elmau, hopefully is causing it to be more ready for the bigger things. That even goes as far as the idea. It's been easily six plus years since I've taken any form of Tylenol, ibuprofen, Advil, whatever. I just don't believe in needing them until I absolutely need them, much like Neosporin. Another huge factor I saw someone bring up is exposure they have as a teacher means they get sick twice a year. When I went to college, we called it the campus cold. Basically, everyone's immune systems adjusting to everyone's germs, LOL. Now, as an engineer, I work in an office with only my boss, and that definitely plays a big part, too. When he gets sick, he stays in his office and I stay in mine, and that solves a lot of sicknesses we both would normally have in more populated environment. Story 23. I try to get enough sleep. I always wear a mask when I'm in an airport or on a plane. Don't know why this was never popular in the U.S. before COVID because I can't imagine going back. I, LOL, try not to breathe in very much when I'm in close proximity to people in stores. People just gross me out. Everyone's always coughing or sneezing without covering their mouths. I'm also vegan, and I really think that helps. My sister was vegan for a few years, and she says now that she eats dairy again, she gets sick more often. I eat lots of fruit. I drink a warm lemon water every morning, before anything else. Without fail, the only exception is on vacation, and I'm going to start incorporating it then, too. B.C., I do feel the difference when I go without. Warm lemon water, and then I eat fruit before eating anything else. Not saying I found the secret, but I rarely get sick. Knock on wood. Literally, like, once a year, if that. And I'm always hearing about my friends being sick. Thank you very much for watching. If you liked the video, like it. Be sure to write comments and share your stories.